we are looking at how uh, to make um, an equation into a statement and vice versa making a statement into an equation and generally speaking this is a slightly difficult thing for students who do who do algebra or statement problem solving is to convert something that is written in ordinary english into an equation uh, and therefore the exercise of converting from an equation into uh, ordinary language is equally useful because you see that it's a sort of layered process so i'm using question 28 uh, exemplar problem uh, algebra from class 6 and uh, the question itself is entirely different it is to find the solution for the given equation 3x plus 7 equals minus 20 so the simplest and most straightforward thing to do is to write it down the way you said it okay and in the first iteration um, um, panav gave this statement he said minus 20 equals 3 times x plus 7 so it's perfectly all right because in an equation you have an lhs you have an rhs if the basic fact is the left hand side is equal to the right hand side lhs is left hand side rhs is right hand side and you can write the statement from first lhs then rhs or first rhs then lhs it's not a problem but the problem here is that the statement itself if you read it out and i suggest that when you write down the statement and then read it out aloud and listen to yourself so when you say minus 20 equals 3 times x plus 7 it's not a nice english sentence right uh, it's kind of like a little clunky it doesn't it sounds like a mathematical statement not so much as a statement that you would make in english so where is the problem we could approach it in any different way but you try to uh, sort of fix on one thing so the one that we came upon was the letter x he said that is a very algebraic term to use it's a very mathematical term to use okay um, and it is rarely done in the english language as we use it so basically we need to find a substitute for that letter x and somebody said we can write it as an integer um, but then we have to know for sure that it is an integer okay there must be a reason why you are calling it an integer as of now i don't know what that x is it could be an integer it could be a fraction it could also turn out to be an irrational number okay so in anyway in this case some of you might know what x is so if you call it an integer it's perfectly all right but to make the most general statement possible we came up with the phrase a number x is a number okay so that number can be anything so we changed the statement uh, somebody else suggested why don't we put it like this 3 into a number plus 7 equals minus 20 so if you see over here we have replaced the x with a number so that's the first step uh, although i'm not i'm saying first step we don't need to follow this you evolve your own way of converting the statements okay but this is the way we did it use the general flow but you don't have to do it in exactly the same way then when we looked at it we said okay but um, there is still some problems and the one we looked at was the word into so like i said into is not specifically in terms of mathematics a statement um, it's not an it's not an operation we know what it means when we say three into a number we say three multiplied by a number but that um, could be interpreted wrongly or misinterpreted by somebody else okay and mathematics should follow some kind of an universal language there should be no ambiguity about what the word means so therefore we we came up with the suggestion that we can write it as three multiplied by a number or we can write it as three times a number i suggested times because multiplied is again something specific to mathematics so we said three times or multiplied your wish a number plus seven equals minus 20. so again if you look at this statement read it out again three times a number plus seven equals minus 20. sounds a lot better than minus 20 equals three times x plus seven um, but we said okay we can reform this even further there is a word plus here mind you there is a word minus also over here so what does this plus mean and what does this minus mean you see they mean completely different things this plus is talking about an operation three times a number added to seven so it's best wherever it is possible to use ordinary english words 
to express the same thing so we decided uh, to instead of putting plus we can write more than added to something like that so the statement that we then finally came up with was seven more than three times a number is minus 20 now this minus over here we cannot replace because what it is it, it is it says that this is a number minus 20 an integer minus 20 on the number line so there is no way to um, make that statement more refined now finally when you read the statement seven more than three times a number is minus 20 sounds like the kind of statements that we are seeing in the textbook when there are some questions asked about things but like tanvi pointed out when the statement becomes something like this it seems like it's a world apart from this equation and that is basically the challenge something that you write in statement form when you convert it into an equation it seems like it's a very difficult thing but that is what we are supposed to learn any questions about this